Hey YouTube, long time no see. I am officially back after my little week of a break. I am still a little bit sick, you might be able to hear it in my voice, but other than that, I am back, so let's get ready to go. Today, I want to review an app for you guys that's called Two Dots. Now, before we get to the fun stuff, let's get through serious stuff. So, Two Dots is made by Play Dots Inc. Join two brave dots as they traverse Arctic tundras, navigate fiery jungles, and plunge the ocean depths. Sharpen your skills across 435 challenging levels while uncovering many exciting new features along the way. Why wow, you'll love Two Dots, free to play, adventure through 435 addictingly fun levels. Connect one dot to another, sink anchors, make a line, create bombs, extinguish flames, and much more. Adorable, fun, and thoughtful design. Enjoy beautiful minimalistic design and relaxing game music. Play at your own pace to figure out the perfect move without having to worry about a clock. Challenge your friends on Facebook, beat their scores, and earn medals. Make a square, not a circle, to clear every dot of a single color. But the first thing I want to point out about this game is just how really cute it is. It's a lot like a lot of other puzzle games that I've reviewed before. It's really minimalistic, but really stylized and cute at the same time. It feels a lot like how a lot of children's books would look. So really easy on the eyes, a lot of just little things here and there to look at, and just really fun and interesting to perceive and enjoy. So overall, the that's mainly how the menu is laid out. It's very cute, very storybook type of feel to it, and and really fun to look at. Once you get into the actual gameplay part of it, it's just a white background. Usually, I think it changes. <clears throat> Sorry, I think it changes once you get farther into the levels. But that could just be me. I'm not a hundred percent sure. But I do believe that the level design changes a little bit. But in the earlier levels, it's just a white background with all of your little dots. So all of it is just very minimalistic, but it's very clean and it looks really beautiful. Now the gameplay. You have to connect two or more dots together on either a horizontal or vertical plane, and they can be like L shapes or squares or any kind of that, it just can't be a diagonal. So they can connect in any way, shape, or form as long as the lines are horizontal or vertical and touching each other. So that's pretty simple, but the game quickly starts adding things that'll make it difficult, like blocks where they'll have to drop through, you have to pay attention to what's going on, you have to clear things like anchors, so there's just a lot going on. It kind of confuses you to how like, deceivingly easy this game might seem, but it's actually really quite difficult. Not difficult, but it is challenging and that actually makes it kind of fun. But yeah, the gameplay part of this is you have either a certain amount of specific types of dots you need to clear, specific amount of items like anchors you need to clear, or things like that. There are very specific things that this game wants you to do, and each time you progress within a level, that like goal of what you need to do gets harder. So it has this really good balance of slowly teaching you the mechanics and adding more into the mechanics as you go, but keeping like the pace quick enough that there is a challenge to it. Currently right now I'm super stuck on a level and I can't figure out how to get past it, but it doesn't make me not want to play because a lot of times if I get stuck in a game I'll just be like, okay whatever, I can't get past it and then drop it. This one, I don't know, it's different, like, I know it is possible because I'm only on like level 40 something out of like 400. So I know there's more beyond it. It is difficult once you get stuck, but there's patience in there just like with human nature wanting to complete things that it makes you want to keep going. Getting stuck really does suck though because you're just like, gonna use up all of my power-ups and then you're just kinda like, oh, okay, I'm stuck, oh, okay, and just have to kind of accept it. But the, mu <clears throat> the next thing I want to talk about is the music in this game. The music is really, really quite beautiful and just, it's just really simple and fun and just really enjoyable to listen to. It's nothing overbearing, it doesn't really overly stand out to me, but it is still enjoyable and it fits really well with the overall mood and feeling of this game. So in my opinion, I like this game, but I am not the biggest fan of it. Um, there are better 
puzzle games out there, but if you want something that's really aesthetically pleasing and is really fun, that has a good challenge, this would definitely be an app you guys would want to check out. But other than that, it's, like I said, it's really good. Maybe not my first pick for a puzzle app, because there's so many out there now, but this is definitely one that I think you should check out if you're into challenging puzzle apps. So that's all I have for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and officially I'm back after my break. Yay! So in case you didn't watch my vlog, just going to point out again, I'm going down to three videos a week, which are going to come out Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays until either my life calms down or I can get a better handle on managing my time. So as always, thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. I love every view I get and it means the world to me and I love doing this. But yeah, I'm getting off topic. I'm rambling. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and comment down below, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye!